I have developed this RAG AI agent which is trained on these 500 different PDFs. So these are more than 485 PDF files. This AI agent is trained on these files and now it is so accurate. So whenever I ask any question from this RAG AI agent related to any of the PDF files that I have like trained this AI agent on. So it answers me very specifically, very precisely about that particular information that I'm asking it. This is going to be a completely beginner friendly guide. So don't worry if you're new into this, whether you're looking to build a smart chatbot for your website or a sport agent trained on your company's data, this video will be your complete step-by-step -step guide to get started with RAG. RAG means by the way, retrieval augmented generation. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. So what is RAG? As I mentioned earlier, RAG stands for retrieval augmented generation. It's a technique that combines two things. External knowledge, retrieval, pulling in relevant information from your data. AI generation, using language models like GPT to generate responses based on that data. The result, a smarter context aware chatbot or AI agent that knows your data and doesn't just hallucinate. To build a RAG agent, you need vector database, something like Pinecoin. Now, you might be wondering, why can't I just like store my data in a traditional database, something like MySQL or like Firebase? The reason is that AI needs to work with meaning, not just exact text or keywords. Traditional databases work with structured data, tables, rows, columns, but AI works with semantic meaning. What word actually mean in context? So you can't just search for keyword. You need to search for similar meanings, even if the exact words aren't the same. And that's where vector databases comes in. What is a vector database? A vector database stores data as vector, mathematical representations of meaning. So instead of searching by exact words, you search by semantic similarity, what text is actually about. This makes your chatbot feel smarter because it can find and use the most relevant information, even if the user's question doesn't perfectly match your document's wording. So before I bore you, let me just show you by a diagram that how RAG actually works. So this is the perfect workflow diagram. So these are the different documents. So consider these documents as the documents that I showed you in the beginning. So let's suppose these are documents that we have in here. So once we have these documents, the next step is EDA. The EDA step is actually where you actually analyze the documents. And the next step is embedding. Now embedding means now converting this information into that format that can be stored in vector database. So all of the information in these documents, most probably this information is going to be the text information is going to be stored in vector database after the embedding is done. I'm actually going to train you, guide you that how you can do this entire process of embedding and then how you can actually pre prepare your documents. Doesn't matter if you have like thousands of different documents, how you can like prepare those documents and then store the sto those documents, that information inside vector database. We are going to use in this example, we are going to use Pinecon for this example. So what is Pinecon? Pinecon is a vector database. Pinecon is completely free to use. So I'll guide you that how you can build this entire thing absolutely for free. So now once the data is inside this vector database, after that, what it does. So let's suppose if a user asks a question, so this is a user and user just asked a question and that request is sent to our agent. And now when user have asked the question from agent, so now agent is sending request to access vector database and vector database will actually use its vector store tool and summary tool to respond to user. After agent receives that response, now it will actually be processed through your any of the large language models, most probably GPT and now it will actually give you a response. So in here, in this diagram, there are several layers. This entire working of RAG includes several different steps. The first one is like having your documents prepared and ready for your data, vector database. That means after your embedding is done. Now, next step is now storing that data inside vector database. And after that, building a screen, a front end screen where you can actually ask question. So this was the whole process, how RAG actually works. There are several ways to build a RAG. I'm actually going to share the absolutely free one and the absolutely easy one with you. So first, let's have a look at Pinecon. Pinecon is a vector database. You can start using Pinecon absolutely for free. I'm currently using the free version of Pinecon as well. And as I showed you that I trained my RAG agent on these different 500 
files so that means even on a free plan you can store enough data so to start using pinecon simply just click on login or sign up and sign up using your gmail account that's it that is that is the only thing that is required so once you're here this is what it will show so what you need to do you need to simply just like create a database and just give it a name after you have done that after that simply just click on this create index so just create an index and just give it a name and that's kind of like enough work done from the pinecon side now you cannot directly upload pdf files on pinecon this is not how it works you can either like upload it through like aws s3 or like there are other ways but you cannot directly upload files your data files your pdf files on pinecon directly so to do that what you can do i have actually created a python script so this is my project so this is my actually python project so i have created this python script using chat gpt of course and the name of the script is upload to pinecon you can find link to this script in description and what it will do you just need to like copy and paste this script inside any of the code editors and after that what you need to do you need to simply just run one command i'll actually share everything all of the command and everything i provide that in the github repository that i'm going to share in the in, in, in description so i'll actually give you like complete installation guide so what this script will do so in this script you need to provide an openai api key and you need to provide a pinecon api key so both of these api keys you need to provide that and after that you need to provide your index name as well so remember that index that you created at pinecon so this is the index this is my index name after that this is my openai api key you can simply just go to openai website and then you can just create an api key how you can do that simply just go to openai you can just get an api key from here this is the api key section platform.openai.com slash api keys and from here you can simply just click on this create a new secret key just give it a name click on create secret key and then it will just create a key just copy that key paste that inside the, your script after that what you need to do so to create a pinecon api key you can simply just go to pinecon and in here just go to api key section from here just click on create api key and just like create a key give it a name and then simply click on this create a key button after that just write this name which is index like your index name and just copy that index name in, in there so how you can find your index name you can simply just go to database go to your indexes and this is my index name just copy this index name from here and that's it the next thing is most important which is providing your pdf folder link so these pdf files are actually stored locally on my computer right here you can see this is my download folder so what you can do you can simply just copy the link of this folder this is the my directory link locally on my computer so you can simply just copy this folder link from here and then after that you can simply just provide that folder link in here right inside this section and that's it now your setup is done and now your files are ready to be uploaded on your vector database inside pinecon so to run this script what you need to do you need to simply just run this command python upload i'll, I'll just provide like all of these commands in that posty in that readme file so you can just like go to that link and get this absolutely for free so this is how it will look like so first of all it will actually just process all of these files after it will process all of these files after that it will like now start uploading these files these pdf files first it will convert those pdf files into vectors after that it will just start uploading those pdf files on pinecon and this is how it will actually show that inside this terminal in this script i have added almost every single possible error that you can face so in case if there is any error with any sort of file it will actually skip that particular file and then go to the next one just make sure that your files are in pdf format because this script only works particularly for pdf format if your file is corrupted or if this is not like a proper pdf file so this can actually like uh, like skip your file and then you can actually miss that particular data which was in that particular file so make sure that your files are not corrupted so once this script will run once this will like start uploading all of these files into your vector database then you can simply just go back to your pinecon and in here you can see inside this there is actually a namespace so inside this namespace it will create a default namespace and then it will actually add all of those vectors inside this default namespace now you can say your data is added inside pine and now you are actually ready to start building the front end and then connect this vector database with your front end application that you can create either in react or next.js we are going to use next.js i'll actually provide again link to the project that i have developed a particular project so i'll actually just change the interface a little bit and then after that you can actually use it as it is as a project so this is the next.js project and this is the environment variable section i have created the authentication system 
system using clerk so it has like this project is fully functional and ready to use you can find this clerk authentication system in here so what is clerk clerk is just like a platform where that actually we use to build authentication system for our apps so this is clerk you can simply just go to clerk.com and then after that simply just like sign in sign up click on dashboard from there you can simply just like create an account and after that you can simply just like choose what sort of methods what's what sort of like login sign up methods you need to add inside your application so right now maybe i just want like sign in with google you can just like do that and then after that you can simply just click on create application once you click on create application what it will do so let's suppose this is one of the application that i have created so after the application is created it will actually provide you these configuration details because i have like set up everything for you so you don't you're not required to like set up anything manually but if you want to do that like if you want to like build from scratch you can do that so this is how simple it is so you can just like get these setup guides or you can simply just like start using this project that I have already set up for you similarly just add your open api key i showed you that how you can do that and then add this pinecon api key i have showed you how you can do that after that just add your pinecon index just add your pinecon host name as well and after that just add your pinecon namespace i showed you this namespace is difc i'm just like using this one namespace but you will have to use maybe your default namespace as well so that namespace name was inside uh, inside your namespace section in here so this is our default namespace this is the difc namespace and after that you need to provide these clerk publishable key and the secret key to do that what you can do you can simply just go back to your clerk section in here and there are these configuration keys these are like these environment variables so you can just like copy this environment variable from here paste these values inside this environment variable section once everything is ready make sure that you run npm install to install all of the dependencies so just run npm install and then your project all of the dependencies dependencies will be installed on your project and then your project is ready just run this command npm run dev and then press enter and now your project will run on local host and now your like fully functional chatbot fully functional rag agent is ready which is running locally on your computer i have deployed this project on versal so what what is versal versal is actually a platform where we can it's a, you can say a hosting platform where we can actually deploy our projects before i guide you about deployment first you need to do you need to simply just test this project on your local host so simply just open this so this is our login screen i can simply just click on this continue with google i can simply just press on this button i can then log in with google and that's it now this is my chatbot now i can just ask any question from it press enter and now it will respond it will search through my entire pinecon database and then it will respond me based on like like th this was the question what is di what is a holding company according to the third difc company's law so it will just like respond that based on the information which was provided it so this is just amazing now the next step is deploying this project so on versal so to do that what you need to do you need to go to github and first add your project inside your github repository so just create a github repository you can just go to your github repository section from here simply just click on this uh, new button and from here just give it a name click on this create repository just create a repository after that it will show you some of the commands that you do that you need to run and you need to run those commands in here just like follow the commands that it will show in here inside this inside your github repository so once you run all of those commands and once your code is pushed on github then you can simply just go to versal versal.com press enter sign up on versal and then you can simply just click on this add new button just simply click on add new project on versal and from here you can just like import your recently added project on github because you'll actually have to connect github with versal and it will fetch all of your repositories from github and the latest one that you just uploaded simply just click on import and then it will like start importing and deploying your project on versal automatically if there is any error that you'll face during deployment you can simply just copy that error and then come back to cursor paste that error inside your chatbot inside cursor ask cursor ai agent to fix those errors and then push your changings again on github and then that's it that's what you need to do your project should be live in just a couple of minutes on 
Vercel. So this is kind of overview that how you can actually build RAG using Pinecon as a vector database and then you can use Next.js as, as your front end and then you can just like build a completely interactive chatbot. So now you understand the complete process. If you want me to like create a more detailed video where I just like build that entire front end side as well absolutely from scratch and then like I create that Python script as well for you. So all of that if you want like if you want me to like a more detailed more in-depth video about RAG and like creating a RAG on on live so I can actually do that as well so just leave a comment in comment section and then ask that you need to like more detailed video on this topic so I can actually just create a more detailed video for now I just like shared all of these resources with you now you can build any sort of like chatbot without spending even a single cent I hope you enjoyed this video just leave your comments in comment section and let me know about your thoughts I see you next video bye bye